The details of a socket and spiger joint are shown in the figure. Assemble these parts correctly and draw its following views to scale full size. A. Front view upper half in section. B. Side view. Print heading and scale used. Draw projection symbol. Give six important dimensions. Okay, so now we'll see this part. Now in this they are given three components. One is socket, another one is pivot, and the third one is cogs. Cotter. Right? One second, I'll put it. Okay, so in this there are three components: socket, spivot, and cotter. So now if you see socket, see it is like this. If you see in this part, see it's a hollow part, so there is a cavity in it. Right? Then it's a shaft, round shaft. Hmm? Then we have a gap like this. So in top we have shown a gap. This gap is for cotter. Right? See this, this dotted line. Then if you see this part, spivot, it's a rod with a slot. See this. This slot, this dotted line, right? And if you see cotter, right? So now what we will do? We need to join these two parts, right? Like these two shafts we need to align. So if you put this spiver inside the socket, right? And if you insert this cotter, then it will join. Then then it will be like one complete part, and then we get the required result. So what we will do first, first we will draw orthographic of uh, socket, then we will insert spiver in it, and then we will put cotter. So now in this sum, you can see this part one, which is socket, right? So they are given front view, top view, and side view. So first we will draw with side view. First we will draw circle, right? So first we will draw diameter 60. Right? After drawing the diameter 60, we can project this length. Now how much is this length? It is 24. We can take 24. Down also we can draw 24, right? So this much is drawn. Now if you see this part, right? It is given diameter 42. So we'll draw one more circle, which will be dotted. The length is how much? It is 73. Sorry, it is 85 till here, right? This much. So we are done with this part also. Then you will see one dark circle, see this, that is diameter 29. So that we will draw your one dark circle. Same we will draw down also. See this. We have drawn this part. Okay. Now if you see there is one more circle for the shaft. See this diameter 24. So that is dotted. So that we can draw. This dotted. So we have drawn dotted. Then we have drawn this dark. Then again dotted. 
So that means we are done. We can do this. So this line we can take whatever we want. So sharp. So after this, see there is a slot. If you see, the slot is for this quarter. And the width is how much? Width is 6. This quarter is 6 mm thick. Sorry, 7 mm thick. So we will draw this 7 mm. Dotted line. We will take 3.5, 3.5 both the sides. And we will draw this dotted line. Okay, so now we need to draw that. How much is this? 21. So from here we we'll take 25 and we'll draw this dotted line. It will be here, up and down, right? And the top view it will be this way, this one. Okay. Now, apart from this, this we can't draw okay, because we don't know the paper part, right? So we are done with. Now this length also we don't know, so we can't draw it in top view. So we can draw only this much right now. Now we will see this spiral. So now we insert this spiral inside this. Now if you see this length, see how much is this? This is 82 minus 12. So how much it would be? 70. Over here, gap is how much? 73. So there will be a 3 mm gap. So when you put spiral in this, see this. There will be a 3 mm gap. this. So this is spiral. Right? Same I can draw it down. Now we will see the dot, dotted part. Now see due to this what will happen? Now this dotted circle will become down. Now because now you can see this sharp, right? So it is the same diameter. See this diameter 24, diameter 24. So this circle will become down. And there will be a matching in this. Because it is a sharp, right? Then we have one more circle, dark line for this, see dark circle for this. That also we will draw, which is how much? This is diameter 29, this is diameter 36. See this. So it will be more than this, it will be here. So diameter 36 will come. Right? And we have a dotted line through and through. Why? Because Spider also has a slot, right? So now we need to draw that. Now we'll see how much is this 19 from here, right? So that we can take 19 from there and we can draw that line, but it is stable. So we need to draw this. So 19 plus 33, right? So if you can only 19 plus 33. Now 19 plus 33, uh, 33 is how much? 52. Right? Now if you calculate in this 19 plus 33, so it will come here. See 
See how much it is? This is 21, right? So that, so that 21 is over here, and if you take 19 from here, and you take 23 it will from here. So this we have drawn. So this dotted line will be there. Well, now what are we going to do? Now we don't know the second part. This slope we don't know. So what we will do? Now we will insert quarter in this, and then we will draw it slope part. So first, we will see this quarter, how much is this height? 100. So from center, we will go up by 50. See this, from the center, from this center, from where we have taken 21, right? It's 5 or huh? so the first one, sorry, socket. So in that, from that point we go 50 up. And we go 50 down, right? From this point, we will go up by 50, we will go down by 50. Then we will draw a line. See this. So that we are 32 and 20. So from here we will take 32. And from here we will take 28. 32 and 20. And we will join this. So this will be dotted because it is inside. This will be done. See this. So first we will draw this quarter. After drawing this, we will take 3 mm on this side, 3 mm on this side, right, on the right hand side, and we will draw a parallel line, and we will draw a dot line. So this is for this, see this. So all of you got this? So what we need to do, we need to take this point, from here we go up by 50, we go down by 50, because height of quarter is 100. From this point take 32, from this point take 28, and you draw the slope. So you can so you get this slope. After that, you take 3mm on this side, 3mm on this side, and again you draw the slope. So you will get this clearance, 3mm clearance. Because we have 3mm clear, 3mm over here, so it will be here also it will be clear. Then we we'll draw this top part. So how will you draw that? You take this distance, draw curve. Take this distance 32 in your point, from here you draw a curve. See, take this, from here you cut, from here you cut, wherever you cut, from that point you can draw this curve. Same on this side, you take this distance 28, from here you cut 28, from here you cut 28, and from that point you can draw this part. So we are done with front view. Now we will start with top view. Now see, in top view, how much is this width? 7 in, right? So from here we take 3.5, 3.5. Now, when you see from the top, see this. So this part you won't be able to see, so that will be dotted. This quarter you will be able to see, so that will be down. Right? Quarter is still here. So we will project that. This much you can see. This you can't see, so that is dotted. Right? In quarter, we will draw this curve because it is given in top. You see this. So, this is freehand, so that we can draw. Now, see in this, there is a gap over here. So, when you see from the top, you can see that part. So, that part will be down. And see, when you see from the top, this is 32, this is 28. So, this 28 will be dotted. So, when you see from the top, you can't see this edge. So, that will be dotted. So, that we can draw. So now in this sum, when we had drawn socket, so that time it was dark, see this circle. But now when, when you insert this fiber, so this circle will be dotted. So we have a dark circle for this, for the shaft. Then we have another dark circle for this one. And the third dark circle for this one. See this. So there are three dark circles. Dotted, we have this inside one, right? And this one. So there will be two dotted circles. So now we are done with front view, top view, and side view of a socket and spiral chart. Now in this time, we need to draw upper half in section. So what we will do? First, we will draw cut clean line.
right? A A from this side. So what will happen? The, this part will be done. So see this. Quarter will be dark till here. This will go away. This should be also dark. The gap will be dark. This gap will be dark. This will be dark. So now we'll see this dark. When you cut like this, it is this way. So this is spigot, this is socket, and this is collar. So see this spigot and socket will be hatched. Quarter will be hatched. So we are doing partial section over here, this side. So I do hatching from this side. So we will write front view, upper half in set section, then top view, side view, cutting cling line, scale, assembly of socket and spigot joint, table, and this symbol. And we need to make everything dark, whatever is seen will be dark. 